The topic of this video is finding the value of a function. Let's look at a problem. Given f of x equals 2x over the sum x squared plus 2, find, and once again we've got four parts. All right, part a says find f of negative 5. Well, this x has a multiplier and this x has an exponent, so when I replace the x with negative 5, parentheses will be required. So I'll have 2 times a negative 5 in parentheses over a negative 5 in parentheses squared plus 2. All right, so 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative 5 squared is 25. And then plus 2, we get negative 10 over 27. This cannot be reduced because the factors of 10 are 2 and 5, and the factors of 27 are 3 and 3 and 3. There's no common factor. All right, part B. Find f of negative x. Well, same as before, x has a multiplier and x has an exponent. So when we replace, we have to use parentheses. So that's what it will look like. 2 times negative x is negative 2x. A negative x squared is positive x squared. All right, now, is there any part of this that we can simplify? The answer is no. Some students would like to try and cancel this x with one of these x's, but that's not possible. Factors are the only things that you can cancel, and factors are not allowed to have pluses or minuses next to them. They can have pluses or minuses within them, just not next to them. So therefore, nothing about this can be simplified further, and this is our final answer. All right, part C says to find negative f of x. Well, remember, Negative in math is shorthand for negative 1 times. So this is the same thing as negative 1 times f of x. We're going to replace f of x, the whole thing, with what it equals. And because it has a multiplier, we'll use parentheses. So we have 2x over x squared plus 2. Now in this particular instance, these parentheses are not necessary because of the fraction. And so we're simply going to write this as our final answer. When a fraction is negative, this negative can be to the left of the fraction, or up in the numerator, or down in the denominator. If you choose to put it down in the denominator, then the x squared plus 2 would have to be parentheses so that the negative affects the entire denominator. All right, there we go. We've done parts A, B, and C. Now we're going to do part D. All right, part D says to find f of the sum x plus h. Okay, so we have 2 parenthesis x plus h, close parenthesis, over parenthesis x plus h, close parenthesis squared, plus 2. At the top, we distribute 2x plus 2h. At the bottom, we FOIL. This will be an x plus h times another x plus h. And when we FOIL this, we get 2x plus 2h over x squared plus xh plus hx plus h squared plus 2. These are actually the same. In fact, you could write hx for both of them uh, because we always write them in alphabetical order when you have multiple variables being multiplied. And so combining these like terms, we're going to get 2x plus 2h in the top, and in the bottom, x squared plus 2hx plus h squared plus 2. All right, there we go. We've completed another problem where we are Eval evaluating a function.